When blood sugar levels drop, it causes symptoms because glucose is the primary fuel for energy, especially for the brain. We will discuss the top 5 signs of low blood sugar levels and the top 5 causes and how to treat low blood glucose level. The first and most common sign is shakiness or tremors, which is more noticeable in the hands. The stress hormone adrenaline causes involuntary muscle spasms, leading to shaking hands. This symptom usually lasts about 30 minutes to 1 hour. The second most common sign of low blood glucose levels is sweating, which is more commonly observed on the face, hands, and neck, causing them to feel cold and sweaty. In response to low blood glucose levels, our body releases a stress hormone called adrenaline, which stimulates sweat glands. A legitimate question is why this stress hormone is released, causing sweating and shakiness during hypoglycemia. The idea is that adrenaline stimulates glucose creation in the liver, a process called gluconeogenesis, signaling the liver to produce new glucose from fats and proteins. It also signals the breakdown of glycogen reserves into glucose. Thus, adrenaline mobilizes all glucose reserves in our body, and sweating and muscle spasms are byproducts of this process. Increased hunger is another sign. Our brain has specific neurons that can detect low blood glucose levels, stimulating the synthesis of hormones that cause hunger. An especially important and strong hunger hormone is ghrelin, which is secreted in the stomach in response to hunger and low blood glucose levels. However, some people who adapt to fasting experience decreased ghrelin levels over time and do not suffer severe hunger pangs even during low blood glucose levels. Weakness and fatigue develop during hypoglycemia because glucose deficiency means energy deficiency in the brain and muscles. Our body interprets this deficiency as weakness and fatigue. The fifth sign is dizziness and lightheadedness, with problems in balance and spatial orientation, especially if the person gets up quickly. Low blood glucose levels decrease the function of the vestibular system, which depends on glucose as a fuel, causing dizziness. Some people also feel cold during prolonged hypoglycemia because of slowed metabolism to conserve energy and blood vessel constriction in the skin, making them feel cold. Many people experience eye-focusing problems or blurred vision during hypoglycemia because of the lack of energy, meaning less glucose for the eye muscles responsible for focus. Now, let's discuss what causes hypoglycemia and why it occurs. The first and most common cause is anti-diabetic medications during diabetes treatment. For example, it can happen if a person with type 2 diabetes takes their usual dose of insulin but skips a meal, leading to low blood glucose levels. Other diabetic medications, such as sulfonylureas, can also cause hypoglycemia. Dropping blood glucose levels because of insulin can be a life-threatening condition. If hypoglycemia is severe and persists, a person may lose consciousness, have seizures, and even die. That's why prompt treatment is needed in such cases. The person can intake one tablespoon of sugar or honey, juice, a glucose tablet, or anything sweet with sugar. After 15 minutes, measure the glucose level again. If the blood glucose level is less than 70 mg slash dl, intake something sweet again. Generally, hypoglycemia is considered when blood glucose levels fall below 70 mg slash dl. In severe hypoglycemia, glucagon injections are needed to stimulate the liver to release glucose. Glucagon is used because it is easier to inject for non-medical people, whereas glucose injections are effective but require intravenous injection, which needs specific medical training. Hunger and fasting can cause hypoglycemia, usually six hours after eating, especially if a person is very physically active or has a fast metabolism. During this time, glycogen reserves can be partially depleted, and after 12 hours, glycogen is depleted in most cases, causing hunger and hypoglycemia symptoms like shaking hands and irritability due to neurotransmitter imbalance. Hypoglycemia can also cause anxiety and panic attack like symptoms because it stimulates adrenaline, leading to rapid heart rate, anxiety, sweating, and panic attacks. To avoid such hypoglycemia, eating three to four small meals per day is recommended, including a balance of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats in each meal. 
Another common cause of hypoglycemia is alcohol intake on an empty stomach, especially excessive alcohol intake. The body starts metabolizing alcohol, which competes with the glucose production process in the liver, causing hypoglycemia symptoms. Intense exercise, such as high-intensity interval training, can also lead to hypoglycemia. Even 40 to 60 minutes of intense exercise, with heart rates at 90 to 100 percent of maximum, can deplete glycogen stores and cause hypoglycemia symptoms. Low or moderate intensity exercise requires much longer periods, around 4 to 6 hours, to have the same effect. A fifth common cause of hypoglycemia is reactive hypoglycemia, which means low blood glucose levels after a high carbohydrate meal, leading to a rapid spike and then a drop in blood glucose. High carbohydrate intake causes a large insulin release, which then lowers blood glucose levels too much. For example, eating a high sugar breakfast, like pancakes with syrup, can cause a person to feel shaky and dizzy a few hours later. Usually, this reactive blood glucose drop happens within two hours after eating. To prevent reactive hypoglycemia, combine carbohydrates with fats or proteins. For example, add eggs and cheese to breakfast. Eat smaller, more frequent meals throughout the day to maintain stable blood glucose levels. Opt for foods with a low glycemic index that are absorbed more slowly and cause a gradual rise in blood glucose. Examples include whole grains, legumes, fruits, and non-starchy vegetables.